So, okay. This is a streamer we've talked about plenty. I, I, I really like this guy. I watch the stream a lot. And, um, you know, like, I don't even like Diablo or uh, Path of Exile. Like, I don't even play these games, but I watch them because I, I really like the guy in his chat. And uh, it's Quinn69 on Twitch, but his uh, YouTube channel that we're going to be watching today, Quinn69TV, which is his react to the Squadron 42 demo, okay? And um, I hear he, he really liked it, and uh, yeah, I think you guys would like his What chat. is the Squadron 42 gameplay? What are those headphones? What is this? Scams isn't single black campaign. Archangel six, come in. Go for six. Getting a faint. Scam Citizen two, another space sim. <laughs> it's coming out soon, guys. Oh, it's gonna be good. This is gonna be good. I don't know what's gonna be more entertaining, the chat or or Quinn, but they're both they're both gonna be entertaining. 2012 first announced, like this is gonna be so good. Contact on there. How much money are these guys taking, bro? For real? Yeah, got it. Scanning that. <laughs> How much money? Somebody said billions. <laughs> you can land on the planets in this game, right? With your ship. We're clear. Commercial vessel out of Vega Three. Provided. In the Traffic is restricted to lockdown. Why is the video chopping though? Archangel, Archangel, this is Krugeri. Come out, Krugeri. Redirect to sector 7 Bravo Echo for immediate tasking. Copy that, on our way. I mean, everybody that watches it gets so. What's doing this 364? So you can, but fair enough. Is it joystick control in this game, at least? Oh yeah. Is it joystick control in this game? You can control control this shit with your eyes, bro. You can control this shit with your eyes. This game is so ridiculous when it comes to that stuff. Oh, this joystick control. Oh! Okay. All right, this looks sick. This is a this is an engine. This is an engine. Seems very immersive. The question is, is it all of <laughs> Scottish space music? Sad. Is this like some fucking uh, No Man's Sky, like back when they first announced it, kind of shit, where they're just like a bunch of props and assets? that you can't really do anything with. Yes. That's like pretty much what it's like. Quad, <laughs> you actually like... You know, go land on that ship if you want and go and do stuff. Oh shit, here we go, what's this? I know I just wrote you. But a couple of hours ago, proximity sensors on, on the other side, side of the jump got twigged. Where it is, it might be that clan we've been battling with. I don't know if... I, I don't know if people really realize that, like, this was just them showing off the, uh... The, the character customizer that they had just shown. Like, it only really reads when they showed the character customizer of the character that is talking right now being made right before this. Right? So... I don't think people realized what this was a representation of is like you can make yourself in the game and that's sort of what the point was is that there were different voices the character was very custom and but nobody realized it because yeah play the video shut up I guess that last fight didn't scare them off quite You've literally watched this video 14 times watch the reacts that I'm watching already and asking me to play the video shut the fuck up Like we all hope to win they're both reading the same message, right? Honestly, we've been out here so long, I don't know what to pull for anymore. Wait, he's writing the message? I just... I just wanted to let you know. What is this, some sort of parallel I universe shit? What is this? Stay only, only one person got it right in his chat, and it was Miss Steve from our chat, who said it's a character customizer. Nobody knows what's going on. Safe. 
your loving son. There, one of his VIPs got it. Is it just showing off characters? Yeah, yeah. Was it just showing off characters? What? Did I see the Asmongold Star Engine react? Who's that? Who's Asmongold? Never gets old, does it? Sir. That is. What? I used to do the same thing when I was first coming up. Why'd they call us sir? Post up to because in in the uh, in the navy everybody says sir nobody gets it and then everyone just starts going freaking out. The flight deck whenever I could to watch the launches. That's what you said. You call him sirs? Yeah, we call him ma'am in the NZ military. Fades up close. No, sir. The thing's a beast. I think it's only a navy I'm thing, right? Two. Twelve maneuvering thrusters and three mains. It sure sounds like it. Sir. Bro, that part was so cringe. Them selling the ship. Captain McLaren to the bridge. Captain McLaren to the bridge. The fuck? Okay. She gonna go. Double reacts cringe. Shut the I fuck up. I saw you apply dude. to the flight academy again. Yes, sir. Keep your head up. Took me a couple times before I got in. This isn't a double react. This is me teaching my chat how to behave like Quinn's chat, okay? That's all we're doing here. This is a lesson, and that's it. Thank you, sir. I think, I don't know. Who cares? Who cares, bro? Who cares? Whatever. Did he think it was uh, the video game? Let's see. Celsius and Earth. Manchester. Oh, Brooke! Hell yeah, Brooke! Welcome to Cloud Imperium <laughs> Games Manchester Studio. I'm Chris Roberts, and I'm pleased to announce we have just passed the major milestone. Squadron 42 is now feature complete and has entered its polish phase. To celebrate this milestone, we've gathered some of our core leadership together to share what this means. Somebody in his chat, scam lord. These motherfucking scammers, eh? These motherfuckers. <laughs> I hope this game's good, by the way. As Chris says, <laughs> we've moved into the polish. <laughs> I just want to listen to him again. I fucking love this guy. Scammers, eh? These motherfuckers. I hope this <laughs> To share what this means. These motherfucking scammers, eh? These motherfuckers. <laughs> I hope this game's good, by the way. As Chris says, we've moved into the polish phase of Squadron 42 which means extra emphasis on ensuring things feel fun. Well, what is the FPS bar for This real? means focusing on the small and large elements of the game, such as dialing in combat encounters, but also Dude, this was the most how you cringe your part. Or vehicle and making sure it's immersive as possible. We've paid extra attention to how your character reacts to that ship. A small bit of polish is so needed, yeah. So you feel like an actual pilot, whether that's firing your weapons, Taking hits or punching the afterburners to get to cover. Ship AI I mean, has also seen huge improvements with closer engagement. They showed the absolute. They made ship combat look bad. When there's been so many moments, like what five years ago, zero state racing and landing on the top of the that uh, building, and then just like every Tarada example, every other PvP -er that's like decent in the game. Like, just makes this stuff look so good. And they chose, like, all the worst possible clips of people shooting and missing every shot. And it just looking so bad. Engagement distances and more varied behaviors. And with our new precision targeting mode, yeah, just dev the gameplay basically. has never been as close. That control scheme looks terrible, bro. The fucking mouse movement and stuff. Like, I tried that in uh, No Man's Sky. It was fucking awful, bro. Yep, and oh, yeah, he's totally right, actually. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, he's using VJoy. With closer engagement distances. He's using mouse with VJoy, which, not gonna lie, when you get used to it, it's sweaty as fuck. Sweaty as fuck. But, it looks really weird. Can we talk about the mug size? 
I need that mug. Our new we can talk about it, because I want that. The action has never been as close. Holy shit. That control scheme looks terrible, bro. The fucking mouse movement and stuff. Like, I tried that in uh, No Man's Sky. It was fucking awful, bro. Like, you gotta have... You know, they gotta have... Jo I mean, it's got joystick support. I've, um, I'll be honest. If you're gonna play a game like this... You'd be better off playing either on a joystick or on a fucking gamepad, like like a like Xbox controller or something, right? Hundred percent right. But if you actually get in game and use the mouse and keyboard, it's it's okay when you get used to it. But yeah, he's right. It's just better with the like aim of dual sticks. We've organized the project into self-sufficient strike teams, so we can focus on individual areas to deliver the best experience. Damn, it's cool looking. The celestial. I mean, what are those things? With this boats in this game, bro. This allows us to bring all disciplines. Everybody together felt that with way. A unified vision. Like what the fuck? The game boats by seamlessly blending it with polished visuals, I mean, fine cinematic performances, and our ever improving technology. You tell me it couldn't detect you, bro. There's not like some electrical signal there or something. Oh, you, whatever. Okay. You're good to keep going. Yeah, a thousand years in the future, and it, they couldn't see it. I'm, I'm kind of with them on that. It's All weird. right. We're also dialing in gameplay features, such as the ship flight model for both atmosphere and space, which covers master modes, control surfaces, and our goal. Bro, this looks like every. Arena Commander match, just missiles being launched. Old standard to you. HUD and MFDs. I mean, flying on the looks cool. See, this is cool. That looks cool, bro. The ability to fly uh, on a planet, that's cool. Especially in the it more, cool. you know, the regions that have like more verticality, right? Where you can, that's cool. Imagine having a dogfight in there. That'd be so sick. That'd be, I mean, you know, <laughs> Starfield, dude, didn't have that shit. True. Who is this guy? Our interaction system for both the world awesome and Twitch your streamer. character have also seen additional improvements, mm. allowing us to hone and craft environmental puzzles unique to each location, while allowing us to tell the story of the world around you. That's a pathetic gravity gun, bro. It looks so silly. You should have made a bigger one. <laughs> you know what? He's kind of right. The military multi-tool is pretty fucking soy. The, like the industrial one just looks better, right? Get a new monitor, mate. Get a new monitor. There. The military multi tool is an essential piece of equipment for every pilot that integrates all attachments into a single handheld device and allows us to create really interesting challenges, including physics based puzzles That's using it. our update. I mean, bro, you just like what you just play Half Life? Is that what he did? He just played Half Life, bro. And he's like, <laughs> yo, this, okay, yeah, the one, yeah, the one in the thing where you need to get the. The elevator, so you, you put the... Yeah, okay. Bro, you literally... I just did this exact puzzle in Half-Life VR. <laughs> like, actually. Get fucked, Yo, Half-Life 3 log in. Somebody has to make Half-Life 3. Somebody had to do it. Unidentified vessels. This is the UEE Navy. Power down your ships and stand It's good they're copying the again, though. I, mean, I like it. There you go. F*** off the coil's ass. God damn it. Our scanning, targeting, and marker system has also seen an overhaul, allowing us to highlight only the essential information that you need, such as key objectives, mission targets, and high-level scan information, while keeping your overall view as clean as possible. Fuck off! I hate... I'm, I'm hating this zoom-in thing for right now. Practical oh, oh, FPS combat and stealth which has seen a suite of improvements from improved looting, weapon feel and balance, realistic scope, what is happening and there? smoother locomotion. Alongside our new and improved FPS what radar scanner, is going to as fuck or is it gonna look clean? an overview of the battlefield, but at the cost of ramping up your I don't know, man. Ammunition. A lot of people were very, like, iffy about this. I thought it looked okay, but maybe I'm just so used to absolute dog shit that we have now. We've also seen the introduction of our Maelstrom-powered destructible environment which adds a layer of dynamism to the experience alongside our improved AI that can now have hundreds of combinations of traits 
that allow us to create unique and challenging combat I see putting out motion blur. You think really that was the problem here? Awareness and skill. Because everybody turns motion blur It doesn't really feel like he's hitting them. Uh, do you guys notice that? As, as he was landing hits there, the guy wasn't going like this or anything. It was like, he That's a good just point. completely like, it was like going through him, bro. Which is, I, ne I never like, I, I, it's, it's annoying that. <laughs> What's your vision? Let's see it go. <laughs> Call him Unless New he was just missing. Trout. Mm, I don't know, dude. He kind of was just completely ignoring the fact he was getting shot yeah. that whole time. Until he died. And then he just fell over. <laughs> then again. Depends how much of the game is this combat, right? Ideally, a game like this it wouldn't be like it wouldn't be like eighty percent shooting things. It'd be like ten percent shooting things. No, it's. I think it's going to be a lot of shooting things. Yeah. We really have to hope they improve I mean, the performance. That looks like a game, bro. I mean, that looks like a game. Like, that combat didn't look terrible. No. I mean, it looks, looks less bug in the Starfield. But then again, are they going to show us all the bugs, bro? They didn't show us the bugs until we got into Starfield, didn't they? Yeah. Are they going to, are they just hiding all the bugs and it's just bugged at the Wazoo, bro? Yeah. The FPS looks complete dog shit, but maybe it's because it's running on a console or something. Perhaps. It's not running know. on a console. I mean, dude, I don't worry about performance, right? Because all you do is you just get a better computer and then it just works. True. Right? It's showing me the game doesn't crash or some bullshit, right? True. Just be rich. We play and review the builds regularly and call out just action points to each level from start to finish and where we need to improve the gameplay. Just buy your own server, right? Fuck it. This is an incredibly rewarding stage of development. It's a millionaire take. No, you shouldn't the limit the scope of a game because of the... I mean, don't get me wrong. I can totally get behind, okay, you want a game to be a, t available to the most people possible. And so, you, you know, you work within constraints to keep it like, you know, whatever. But if your game, if your game is trying to be like the future game that is going to revolutionize gaming and be like this fucking insanely massive, huge scale ultra game, like ultimately, fuck them. Like if you need yeah. to go big dick <clears throat> and the technology you're using means you have to have a good computer, like, and, and maybe you have to wait like a year or two for like, and I, I don't think Quinn might be old enough to know, like, the Wing Commander games and shit. That's basically what it was when I was a kid. So, Wing Commander was fuck em. You need to have this PC or you can't play. Right? Like, a lot of people will apply that to, like, Crisis now. I had to go to my friend's house just to play Wing Commander because I didn't have a computer that can play it. And my friend's dad was, like, a PC enthusiast. So, you can only play Wing Commander... If you had a good computer. Well, not Crisis now, but you know what I mean. Like, can I play Crisis? Like, that bullshit. So, like, I had to go to my friend's house just to play this. You know, just to play the, you know, the old version of this, I guess. And we would do that. And it was basically like Twitch streaming back in the day. He would play, I would watch, and then I would play, he would watch. But that's what Chris has always been. It was just, fuck him, get a better PC. The problem is, is the last 10 years... I've had to get a better PC every four years just to play the fucking game. Because he keeps saying fuck him over and over again. And when I don't know when he's going to stop. He's got to stop at some point. I, can I mean, hey, it is what it is. I, I wouldn't, you wouldn't want them to hold back in a game like this with a scope as large as they have, I feel like. But you understand? This game is supposed to be like... Like a like like a uh, you know a generational game. Like a game so fucking badass. and so It's, it's supposed to be like... World of Warcraft or something, from what I understand, right? They're like, oh, a space game Wing where you yeah. can do anything, right? That's what it's supposed to be. Not from this my, game. From what I've seen from the marketing they've been putting out. You can own any ship. You can go anywhere. You can... Not not this game, but yeah. Fly in and do... it. They, they, you know, that's like... Now, nah, that's obviously a huge roadmap, and they've been doing it for ages, and it's been, like, getting crowdfunded for... I don't know. I, I, remember, I remember the Star Citizen booth was, like hype back in gamescon before diablo expansion had come out and before we even knew about d oh my god quinn was at the gamescom i was at <laughs> that's crazy i wonder if he went to the booth i was at that booth before back in like 2018 or something which that's ancient ancient of the game yeah, is that's wild allowing us to craft an experience that we can be really proud of I didn't know Quinn back then. Like, I didn't know One of them. I don't fucking know now, I'm excited obviously. to dive in 
is the feeling of the player interacting with the world around them. Yes. Mike is ancient. Yeah, I am. I'm old as it's fuck. a core component of Squadron and really grounds the world that you inhabit. We've made sure that any interaction in the environment is physically represented by a character animation to keep you in the moment and fully immerse you in the experience that we've created. <laughs> we have animations. <laughs> <laughs> we have animations, guys. Ultimately, this is the final phase of game iteration. Before Holy we shit. fully transition into optimization and stability on the road to... <laughs> Bro, that does look kind of crazy, though. No, that does look sick. Oh, my oh God. a bit. Okay, call me impressed. All right, I, that's impressive to me. Here's your trail. This is Colton. Oh, my God. Dude, I was fighting, and, and his entire chat was fighting with um, Montoya. That Montoya said that this is a planetary shield. Okay, a little bit of flickering going on there in the ages, but... That does look sick. Web tried explaining how atmosphere processes work. <laughs> Really shows how far we've come. What's it actually like? What's the world though like? Is, does it feel like an alive world? Can you just go down there and just see shit happening? Like how many species nope. out there? Does it feel? Like, I mean, nope. I've always wanted a game like that, bro. I've always wanted a game where, it, nope. so, dude. I'm you guys. I'm a massive sci-fi fucking fanboy. I'm a Stargate Andy. Oh man, the idea that I could be like a oh, Stargate guy Stargate. and go on my own Stargate adventures just gets me going bro it's like it's the same sort of vibe i had whenever this I is what i'm afraid of dreamed of becoming a pokemon trainer the same exact kind of nostalgia they you know? fucked up cig fucked up this is this is where it all falls apart everybody watches these trailers they buy the game they go into game and then they realize there's nothing to do then they realize there's nothing in the game at all and it's over right it's over. <laughs> they shouldn't have done this shit, dude. It's Holy over. Shit. With the transition of squadron to polish phase, we've had the opportunity to find additional moments. How many aliens are there? Existing in creatures are there. Subtle interactions where appropriate. <laughs> what? what is it's that? It's been hero? tremendously exciting to play through these areas and find places to augment the mood, support gameplay, and further embellish our story and characters. So yeah, man, I, I, I can't believe it. They said I've got to wait another two years before I can reapply. So, um, so that's why I figured I'd get a job trying trying in security because that's um, you know I can get some hours. Two years, in the meme, which is pretty funny. Not, not can't hurt, right? Yeah. Exactly. We've I'm gonna be honest. Every single bit of story we've seen so far has been ultra, ultra uh, the opposite of whatever compelling is. I'm just not. They're just they're just yapping about rant. And it's because they're not going to show anything about the story. But that doesn't mean that the story we haven't seen is good, right? They refuse to show anything about the story of the game. They've been hyper like, we don't want to leak anything, blah, 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 blah. But I think it's everybody's fear as well. And bullshit and it's just generic, like chat GPT generated scripts, like not even a good prompt script, like, you know, generic, I don't know. Uh, that could just be a bad trailer, though. Uh, and, you know, I feel like they need to do a Hollywood-style trailer where they really show off some of the dramatic moments and some of the, you know, some of the actual, like, immersed story, you know Yeah, like, I don't know but if it's Copium, we don't want to spoil, or if female it's, player character, we don't know if it's good or well bad, is what I'm saying. Various enemies pickups? that you all will encounter throughout the game on both foot and in your cockpit. These consist of a range of responses and reactions that you as the player can trigger which has been the culmination of efforts by the gameplay. And, and like the same thing, like I don't like that take from him either, right? Like who likes Hollywood trailers that give away the entire fucking movie before you ever go to the movie? Why watch the movie? Just watch the trailer. You literally know everything that happens. What's the point of playing the fucking game, right? So for me, it's like, all right, man, you show the game looks cool. You show kind of the idea. There's puzzles. It's like Half-Life, but you can also fly a spaceship. And then maybe I want to play the game, right? And that's it. Like I'll take, I'll take that, you know, over the Hollywood trailer, right? So I don't know. Maybe his chat's right. You know, garbage Quinn take. AI team. This means AI. that you're gonna have to tangle with some very smart and reactive bad guys to complete your mission. Hey, little thrusters on them. How they doing that? How are they doing that? <laughs> the same way they do it in space now. 
<laughs> How are they doing that? At the heart of this. <laughs> what are they doing? The <laughs> ship's just going to turn around and blast them ass, bro. What Time the fuck? Cutting it. Uh, yo, Quinn knows exactly how Star Citizen plays. The, the idea of you being out of your ship and someone in a ship, like being the overwhelming disadvantage that it is, is so fucking stupid in this game. And they, uh, there's no point in ever being out of your ship. He knows exactly what's going to happen. Also, uh, guarantee his chat. Everybody's chats. I, I always see them. Somebody say Padawan when this guy comes on the storytelling thoughtfully crafted to fully immerse you into your story. Fly we off. fight today. Oh shit, they got so this in 40 years from now. This is a good actor, bro. I like that actor. That guy's badass. Now when you're surrounded by everything and everyone you hold dear and they ask, what did you do in the Battle of Vega? You can look them in the eye and say, I heard the line. Held the line, boys. Woman of the second fleet. If you're here, you held the line. I am proud to stand with you today. Good luck. Okay. Push your butt. Nice speech. Oh, it's that guy. He's not like Bruce Willis, but he's the other guy who's like, he's kind of a little <laughs> bit more beach B list. Like, he's a little bit less of a he's main. Not Bruce Willis. Is that guy called? It's that guy. He's like the UK, like Bruce Willis. <laughs> uh, Mark, Mark Strong. Yeah, I mean, I, to be fair, I prefer this guy. I prefer Mark Strong over Bruce Willis myself, actually. Word from the recon team? Not yet. I don't know why I find that so funny. He Let's plays a good... He, he, he plays a good, badass, ruthless motherfucker. <laughs> he plays a badass, like, a ruthless, you know? It's it's funny the, the way he describes it. Kill some motherfuckers. I wouldn't be surprised if Coke Carnage is in this, honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Co Carnage is in this. He is in literally every video game now. <laughs> and then Co Carnage will also have early access uh, to the game. Yeah, we, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Polish yep, Co Carnage has early access. He gets to play it three days before everybody else, and he's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> every streamer's nightmare Co Carnage getting access before everyone else. Our team is taking every opportunity <laughs> to push things to the next level. Oh Kill my me, god. Expecting company. This is not good. The Cine team is focused on finalizing edit lock on all of our big action as well as all smaller character sequences. I could have pulled this off of the Galactopedia. Yeah, probably, but I think their solar mass calculations are wrong, though. Well, this is ridiculous. How so? We are now able to adjust our shot composition to final cameras thanks to recently crafted space vistas and level art being content complete now. Be nice to know how much of a shitstorm we're flying into. What the More fuck like did they buy blue? celebs? One you ain't gonna fly out of. <laughs> Shut up. Now, I hadn't seen another ship that wasn't trying to kill me in days. Let alone a hauler, let alone a Jean. So you can imagine my surprise. Detailed lighting passes can be done on hero sequences so we can show our car. Yeah, and that, and that was like a little Easter egg, I think, for, for people who follow the game a lot. It sounds like uh, Jean are in the game at least their ships and that is pretty pretty interesting and convey their emotions in the best light possible i mean it looks good it's just like dude what the fuck's even happening man like what, what are they that's i'll do this i mean maybe they don't want to spoil any of the good parts of the story or something you know yeah like, no, it doesn't matter how good it looks at the story writing it's just fucking yapping bro he, he's 100 percent right but all they're trying to do is show where the money went and I think a lot of people are like, okay, I see where the money went, you know? And we're making sure our cinematics are triggering as fluid as we can craft them so they form a coherent concerto with the rest of the player's yeah, narrative experience. Yeah, this isn't the launch trailer. This is, uh, Mr. Wright, we sir, didn't scam you completely. Only like 50% of the way. Oh. That guy. Commander, hey, Julian Wexler. I'm the field manager of this little operation. Welcome aboard the Archon. What brings the Navy to this little corner of the universe? We got you flying with Lieutenant Commander Colton. It's that guy! <laughs> He's in Game of Thrones! That guy's in Game of Thrones, dude! Oh my God, let's go. This is the most no rewarding way. chapter of development, which allows us to truly experience the visceral and oftentimes emotional moments of what that our narrative trash. provides. RTX off. RTX off, bro. How did you handle it after Vega? RTX on! Oh my God! I'm not sure I handled anything. It helps to remember that stuff. Dude, she like is moist. She is moist right now, bro. For real. 
I've never been good at dealing with problems I can't fix. To be fair, I am more emotionally connected to this than I was the other one. This does look more, you know, it's, yeah, I am more, certainly. I think, it, I think this part was a little bit weird because they didn't show us the old trailers versus the new. They showed us, like, garbage internal trailer and the current trailer. They, they get that this, this is after definitely captures more emotion. I don't know. Well, this is one that you don't have to do alone. That's good to know. Moist equals connection. Yes, of course. For the animation teams, polish phase means refining the social aspects of Squadron 42 that occur between the various missions and getting the behaviors implemented across all of its chapters. Yo, spoiler alert, Chad. Do you want any spoiler right now, bro? Do you want to hear a spoiler right now, bro? Oh, shit. You want to hear some? I'm going to about to drop a truth bomb right now. Oh, okay, shit. Okay, straight up. This is about to. I'm about to. Okay. Writers are more important than actors. I said it, bro. I said it. It is what it, I said it, bro. It is what it is. It is what it is. Pretty big. Stra a good story shits on like good. You can have like full just B list actors. You don't even know who they are. They're just like okay at acting. But you have a really good story, fucking banger. Okay. Guess what? You have a bunch of really cracked actors, right? The 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 best money you can pay for. You have a shit story. Okay. Guess what? It's fucking dog shit. You can't ca actors can't hard carry it. It can't hide carry it. It is what it is. It's it's true. And we don't know. To make it as now, they did leak the entire story already, so some people know the story. I don't know if it's good or not. I haven't read it. Immersive and believe. Now, okay, you have cracked actors and you have cracked story. Okay. Okay, now, and you got cracked writing, obviously. It, okay, now, now it's just like, all right, well, that's the dream. That's the dream. Yeah. ...and experience as possible. Do it. Oh, done. Okay, all well, right. All right. Pardon me. Somebody said Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, it's a bunch of people walking around, talking. Okay, you can look around. Interesting. Certainly feels, uh, yeah. Yeah, 10 FPS. Feels more alive than, uh, wait, not Star Citizen. What am I thinking of? No Man's Sky. For example, we're launching off a space carrier, but we still ground. No Man's Sky is like a coloring book. You know? the feel in real world actions refueling repairing and inspecting and making sure that your next flight mission is a success this means we're looking out for pops hiccups or awkward transitions and ensuring that everything flows and looks like all the great mocap performance now, this is a single player game though chat so this is all a facade though so it's like all scripted Stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe some extra ice packs out of storage. Whenever gunners are that's fine. Rotation, you can always count on at least one of them getting hurt. Like I think they showed this because it's like you know a lot of t times like little NPC things like this always look super scuffed when they're picking up like little things and everything looked like literally perfect. We also have you covered in everyday life. The medical staff work diligently for their patients, whether they're players or crew. Hmm. What is the frame rate of whatever they're capturing right now? Like, like honestly, what we is that? We really want you to feel part of an authentic crew, an important part of the UEE Navy, and an enormous universe of people going about their oh, everyday damn, lives. Buttons look cool. Is that how you really fucking have to do it? You have to. See, I don't think a lot Let's of people are liking that, tackle. even though it's two buttons. Ground crew, prep you're already like, off. do I really have to do this? It's going to get old so fast. Hiya, ready for launch. But, but we all think that there's keybinds, so you just press a button, press a button, and it'll, it'll happen. But even then, it's I think it's already like, come on, bro. Takeoff approved, Baron 2. You have the ball. Okay. This game is going to be so fucking shit. Uh, I mean, we don't know that. Hold on as you're it's launched true. off the deck of the carrier. Actually true. Baron 2, you are clear for launch. Have a safe flight, Baron 2. Thing is, wait, 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 wait. This is actually really important. This is really important. So, uh, is Star Citizen entirely crowdfunded? 
Are they are, are they owned by some big publisher, shareholder Andes, or are they are they privately owned? It is not 100% crowdfunded. They are owned by shareholder Andes now. Right? So mostly crowdfunded is the answer cuz there's a couple of shareholder Andes and one of the shareholder Andes got 5 million dollars of our money a couple of years ago uh, that was supposed to go to the game. Um I don't I I think it's 17% owned by another person, uh, the Calders or whatever. And that money was supposed to go to marketing for this game specifically, Squadron 42. But it happened so many years ago that that money is gone. Long time ago. It was like it was something like $50 million of the crowdfunded money is from the Calders, um, who are, I believe, from South Africa, right? Yeah. Because that's big. Well, that's huge. If they don't have some big kid holding them by the balls, making them fucking ruin their game and forcing it to release before it's ready, and they're trying to just monetize the fuck out of it, and they're just like doing, like, you know. Did he say monetize the fuck out of it? Oh, God, I can't wait till he sees this shit. Make it as generic and homogenous as possible so the most possible people will buy it because we want, you know, wait. the most money. All that. That's big. If this is entirely crowdfunded and then not owned and it's and it's private and there's no shareholder andes i feel like that's a massive huge point in their court for like making an actual good game incredibly right? pay to win but at the moment this game obviously has been quote unquote like you know quite close to release for i don't know it feels like actually forever now but yeah. i mean this looks like they're getting close to a game actually coming out right some single player experience and i think you can even play the multiplayer one right now in beta right yep and you, you can in pre-alpha I think you can just play it right now. We want you to not Free only decide alpha. how you play the game, but to feel as if the people you interact with are in that world with you. I would have never thought a alpha. shotgun could be so pretty. <laughs> His, chat. Yeah. His chat is typing classic unpaid shill. R97 is sleek as hell. Like a lot of other weapons in Gemini's arsenal, it has a higher rate of fire than most guns of its type. He's an expert, bro. He's an expert. Look at that guy. Oh, shit, bro. Damn. We're working to support a up feel of authenticity through world traversals, running, jumping, and climbing. Yep. Interactions with objects and the environment. Spam it, bro. Spam it, bro. <laughs> Solid weapon gameplay and enemy reactions. I hope they don't do bullet sponges. Like seriously, as they're well not. as combat reality, because it looks like they kind of go in bullet sponge route. I, 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 honestly, like they won't. just don't even do it, bro. Don't just don't just make it make the player die fast and make the enemies die fast. Wait, wait, are they not? The player's going to be dying slower, and the current enemies that we have in Star Citizen are starting to become more bullet spongy. True, legendary armor doesn't mean bullet spongy. I think that I again I think the way they're going is like armor that is good against ballistics, armor that's bad against lasers, that kind of thing. Okay. It's not an Such RPG though. Malfunctions. Yeah. It's just better. It's just better, bro. Did did Mike react to Asman's react? Encounters of the Who more is Asman? Lethal kind. <laughs> shit, bro. Oh yo, shit man. Let's go. Ooh, that's gonna hurt in the morning. As we continue to focus on the quality experience, we've been working closely As we go with to our wild teams, streamer. Oh, okay, and cool. it's been exciting to see their environments come to life alongside us. While animation and design have been populating the locations, polished phase for my teams means making huge advancements in the quality of our characters and environments. <laughs> we've established <laughs> our standards. Q A man. It's Tuesday, isn't it? I thought this was going to be Selby. Mark Hamill, Julian Anderson, and Gary Oldman. And we're now applying this to the rest of the cast and identifying... Bro, fuck all this, bro. Nobody cares about this. Do QA. Play the <laughs> fucking game and fix all the bugs. Actually so fucking best, please. Like, who cares if it looks a bit better? Like, oh, we've been going over all the actors and making it look better. Like, fuck that.
Yep. Literally just to play the game and fix as many bugs as possible so it works and feels good to play. Thank and then you. the parts that are unfun and shit and like clearly shouldn't be in the game. Like, you know, imagine if the default guys had actually QA'd and played their game and realized, oh, wow, actually it'd be better if we had more stash space. Oh, actually, wow, this itemization doesn't feel good. It doesn't, you know, oh imagine if they just done that. Chat, shut the fuck up. Artists are not testers. Nobody cares. Again, this is what I keep telling you people. As this game becomes more mainstream, all you people have been following this dumb fucking game for 10 years, begging, begging uh, for people to understand game development. Nobody gives a fuck. Just QA the game and make it better. That's all people care about. Okay? Just honestly, that opinion is the opinion of nearly everybody, and you guys are in the majority. They should just they stop playing the shit out of the game, right? The second it's playable, they should be in there playing it and, and learning what the fuck's good about the game, what's bad about the game. Any remaining tech requirements that need to be closed out. The story of Squadron 42 takes you through a variety of diverse locations of varying scales and styles. We shared glimpses of several environments before. You think that's a vandal and there's ship? still plenty there out inside? there for you Damn. to discover. I don't know what it is about the clouds. One Does of the, the main challenges real? the art team has had to face during the it development looks like you're of flying in a plane. 42 is ensuring the visuals are complementary to the narrative of the script. The mood and feeling of a space is just as important to us as it is making sure we hit the visual quality that, that yeah. CIG has I become known for. Yeah. No, it's 100%. If, 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 if the space you're in has a mood, it can become a character in itself, right? The environment can be a character. Now, it's like if it just looks sick, but it has no soul and no real feel, then it's just like Diablo 4, basically. Oh, yeah, he just, yeah, I think this guy, I think Quinn has fucking PTSD, bro. I think he just has PTSD. That's really what it comes down to. He's just like, please don't do this to me again. Great. You know? Yeah. A locked door. It because, instead of having like a, a extra character, you just have this generic like expanse of land, and nothing really feels like it has a like a physical place. And it, you know, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, I'm telling you, it's like the difference. It's the difference between like uh, pretty much all the Soulsborne games and how they make their like environments and DLO4. You know, like like look at Elden Ring uh, environment. It's so the the zones are so distinct from each other and they're their own characters they have their own vibes to that one fucking zone where you go there where it's like the poison lake bro and the, even the air looks poison and the trees are dying and the all the fucking animals are like completely LOL distorted comparing and star citizen so to those good. games bro you keep this is this is, oh my god i hate all of you sometimes i hate the star citizen community so fucking much like they think they're special dude it's still a fucking video game. Oh my god, comparing video games to video games. Saying I really like an immersive environment in a video game. Oh my god, can't do that because Star Citizen's special. My special game. Give us access. So good. No, I'm afraid that's a negative. Steve. I'm sorry. Uh, I would have to add you to our system to give you override permissions. And, uh, my game's better. There's a lot involved in that. It's not. Thinking. It's not better. Okay, we'll figure something out. Everything you see during the campaign has been heavily inspired it's actually by worse. the classics of 70s and 80s sci-fi. Dude, I need to learn to read. modern twist. Yeah. We want everything you NA. see Sorry, to I'm feel from, like it has a soul. From New Jersey, brother. Can't help that. That's and tells never going to happen. history long before you arrived. Mm, that's cool. That looks sick. I mean, that does look sick. The lightning is pretty, Crafting pretty badass. Crafting interesting flight spaces and their connecting tissue has been one of the more unique I'm challenges we needed yeah. to overcome for Squadron. Developing our VDB tech to blend Unique seamlessly County. between tighter traversal spaces Damn. and into wider space vistas and planets has proved incredibly the difficult bro, the but rewarding. Ensuring that Squadron flows seamlessly from one chapter to the next without interruption. Creating a diverse array of locations. New Jersey has some of the to top us. ranked schools in America. Yep. And it also has some of the like the worst gang violence and like some of the worst schools. Okay. Our environments need to work from a variety of scales. New we Jersey's need to pay also close New Jersey. attention to detail. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Why did it cut, bro? Why did it cut? Oh, uh, see, they all Our think why okay. did I... they all think that like this is a planet you'll be able to land on um like star citizen what do you guys think do you think that the game is going to be gated at all um 
Like, obviously, Star Citizen isn't gated, but the single-player game might not allow you to land on that planet. But we know, but we all know that that planet is fully explorable. There just might not be anything there, right? Like, that's kind of a question. I don't know if it'll be gated or not. In Star Citizen, you can go and land on that, right? We all know that they're the same base game. But we don't, I don't know if they're going to be like, hey, your mission's over there, buddy. Right? We also don't know. Oh, actually, we do know that the mission with the boat is right, is down there. Because you could see the structure that's to, that I'm covering in the, in the air. So you have the opportunity to land possibly, but I'm just curious because single player game, because of timing, because of all that, I wonder what they're going to do. So this is the same planet with the boat and the cutlass flying over. It's just, what are they going to allow us to do? And what are they not just for pacing cat bro? Because if you've ever flown from here to there, it's 10 minutes, right? It's five to 10 minutes. Wait, have we seen a ship actually just fly down to the planet ever? Have we ever seen? Is it fuck? I swear to God. What right. the fuck? Need to work from a variety of scales. You're not going to. You need to pay close attention to detail, whether we're working in a dirty engineering event or navigating the debris of a dying star, wondering what may be around that next corner, or even who may live there. How would they have survived, and what state of mind may they be in? Mm. Damn. Fucking 3D map makes sense though, right? You need a map like that if you're fucking in space, right? Yep. Shit, those monitors look we sick. We work closely with our social teams in delivering a cohesive social experience. When you're I mean, just the outside from and the inside for me has FPS always been missions, sick in this game. Or even missions of the more eerie kind. Nobody plays this. Yeah, I know. The reality is like, it's like slowly walking around, panoramically looking at it. Reality is like, fucking sprint to the guy. E, 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 e. <laughs> sprint to the next location. <laughs> sprint to the ship. Go. <laughs> that's, that's actually. Dude, I, I tell this story all the time, but I'll tell it again. When we, when we debuted Star Marine, and I actually get to say we because I was there and it was really cool, um, at, at the LA studio, when we, when we debuted Star Marine, Chris was so fucking mad at us because all we were doing was running around. It was exactly the same. And he was like, can you guys just fucking slow down, please? And we were like, nah, bruv, it's not happening. Tiva, I play like this sometimes, though. When I'm really immersed in a story... I do like to appreciate the environment I'm in, right? I do like to appreciate the, the you know, the, some of the things that I'm like, the attention to detail. I, you, you should need, you should try that sometimes. It's called like savoring. Rather than like, if you have like a nice food, you don't just fucking go, and just eat it as fast as you possibly can. I mean, no, you I eat do. it and you fucking, you know, enjoy what you're eating. Take a little bit of breaks in between each but, I don't know. I think that's a millionaire take, like going out to a nice restaurant or something. When food's good, I eat it pretty quick. I, you know, so, you get what I'm saying? Like, you know, just smash it back. That's a millionaire take. Oh, shit, bro. We'll when be you're poor, you eat new fast. space stations on a massive scale, all brought together and designed to be as tangible as possible. We thought about their function, their age. Bro, you think we're getting this cargo progression ship? in artistic style with each you station gonna sell as that you to progress us? through the game. How much? Fuck, is that guy floating up? What's happening? Oh, it's an escalator. It's literally a mall escalator. I don't, I don't get it. Damn. Kind of like Cyberpunk kind of um, the graphics level. You see this guy? Bro, talk about the gameplay, please. As you can see today, the teams are working incredibly hard, ramping up the detail and quality to match the breadth of our vision for Squadron. Is this the retribution? The vision is kind of insane. I don't know what it is. What engine is this in, by the way? Do they have their? Is it their own engine? Or I mean, it's been so long. It's CryEngine. If they custom. have, they I don't understand. It's their own engine, custom. Oh shit, bro, damn. Lumberyard, CryEngine, Star when Engine. Can I play it? When can I play it? When we have the locked release date, you will be the first to know. 
Now we're in polishing phase on Squadron 42. You will start <laughs> to see a lot more Stop things from Star Citizen, as well as overall progress on the Persistent Universe. The polish phase can take some time. We have come this far, and we want to make sure Squadron 42 delivers on the promise of being this generation's Wing Commander. Now, even though there's only a few of us in this video, I'd like to extend a big thank you that's to base. all our staff around the globe. But that's base, by the way. That's base. Honestly, I think, I think games like Cyberpunk were forced to come out before they were ready. I think uh, games like Diablo okay. 4 were forced to come out before they were ready. I feel like so many games, like Star even saying. Starfield, forced to come out before it's ready. All these games, there's some bullshit like, oh, the Game Pass needs a game, a flagship game to go on its thing. Or the fucking, you know, the shareholders need a big bump in there. Okay. Yeah. Unironically, like... I'm I'm pro companies waiting. Like I'm down. I'm down for that. Take as it's long true. as you want to make a game. So many people talk shit about how long it takes, and the only reason we talk shit with Star Citizen is it's constantly been like soon, 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 and soon never comes. Right? It's n I don't think anybody cares that they've taken a long time. It's that they fucking lied to you the whole time about how long it would take. That's what everybody's fucking pissed off about, right? But then, yeah, look at City Skylines 2. Look at Starfield. Look at uh, Diablo. Look at all this shit. All these games came out. And then look at Cyberpunk, bro. They, they literally made Cyberpunk like two months ago, finally. Right? But do you really think this game is going to come out and have no bugs and be good? Like, Baldur's Gate 3 is like the only people that have done this. Right? So, yeah, I don't know, man. Bro, if it takes fucking eight years to make a RPG, dude, and it's Baldur's Gate, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That's badass. We've been putting their heart and it, soul it just, into bringing Squadron but that's 42 the thing, to Is can this guy make a Baldur's Gate quality game? And it has bugs. Yeah, Baldur's Gate has bugs. But it's overall was was above and beyond what, what the normal game experience is. Right now... I'm not convinced that this guy can make that game yet. He has to convince me, right? And no, n he's never convinced me he can do it up to this point because everything has been such fucking trash in comparison, right? So it's we'll have to see. And again, like Quinn said, they're, they're not showing you any of the bugs right now, but maybe he does, you know, maybe, maybe they do it. And if they take their time and they do it, we'll see, but... You know... And I would like to thank every- 10 years, whatever, however many, if it takes that long, fuck it, dude. I'd rather, I would rather have, um, you know, a less quantity of higher quality games to play than a bunch of shitty, yeah, we average mid games. Like, what'd you rather have? Would you rather have 10 really good games or would you rather have 50 shitty average games? Um, the, the Wing Commander series was extremely good. Yeah, that's when like, you know, all game developers had passion. There were no fucking publishers. But do you remember Freelancer? Do we do we remember Freelancer? And and Star Citizen is Freelancer next. This is Wing Commander next. So hopefully it goes along the lines of Wing Commander. Do we remember Wing Commander 5? Right? Like, let's look at his last work instead of his work from 1991. Right? Community for your patience. Freelancer was great. I loved Freelancer too, but there's a lot of issues with Freelancer coming out and not being finished and not being polished and all those things, right? Wing Commander had a publisher, yeah, but it wasn't the way publishers act today. And your Stop. support. To paraphrase Admiral Bishop, when people ask, what did you do in the development squadron 42? You can look them in the eye and say, I held the line. I'm proud to stand with you. Thank you for making this game <laughs> with us. Mm. Agreed. Died, dies of cringe. To be honest, I was a non-believer, bro. Oh shit, they got a big trailer. I would they got a big trailer. There's a trailer. I was a, I was a non-believer in this uh, Star Citizen shit, and I probably am. I'm still massively on the fence. But honestly, after seeing how AAA game studios are nowadays, um, he just hearing how these guys are monetized, um, and hearing how like it's not some you know, I I, I feel like my. my Hearing how these guys are monetized, so it being crowdfunded doesn't mean the way they're crowdfunding is good. So watch how they're actually monetized and watch how they fucking cannibalized everything in the game currently to, to monetize the game. You may not like Star Citizen as much, Quinn. You're going to fucking fall off the fence, break your arm, break your leg, and break your neck when you find out how the current game is. I am... I've gone from a more negative outlook of these guys to a more positive outlook. Uh, like, I am very interested into this game. 
Uh, and I will probably, and I hope it comes out, and I will probably play it whenever it comes out. Um, because I, you know, it w wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be cool if more games like this start popping off? Crowdfunded games that have passion and soul. I hope the game's good. Uh, because obviously the story doesn't look that great, uh, in my opinion. It yeah, looks we don't know if it has passion or soul yet. We hope it does. We certainly, you know, the community has soul for it. They got we'll a bunch see. of A-list actors and stuff, you know. But um, hopefully, like it to has see some if the soul. actual story is compelling and makes you want to like get into it, you know. But there are some. I mean, how does the current game go from what it is to working like uh, working in all this? I mean, that's that's the question. That's what the next couple of years, you know, that's the question right now. Clearly, visually, the game does look impressive, though. See, this I is him to say that. You're actually a fucking idiot. This is in a single-player mod, basically. Oh, shit. Kind of a Halo brute kind of vibe? True, yeah. Halo brute. Well, those are bad guys for sure, bro. Pretty sick, right? Pretty sick. Okay, dude. All right. I held the line. All right, dude. I held right. the line. Pretty I, cringe, I, but I'm gonna keep myself for your company, mate. All right, you held the, the line. All right. I I like I like that. I really like Quinn, so I'm glad we shared. Of all the reacts we watched him, I'm glad we we watched Quinn's first because I think he's got one of the best chats. I think he's got one of the best channels on Twitch. So I think he's probably gonna be the most entertaining react out of all of them. And I think he had some pretty base takes and. Yeah, pretty awesome. So let me link Quinn's chat to you, or let me link Quinn's YouTube channel to you guys. But it's uh, Quinn69 on Twitch. So Quinn69, there you go. Okay. So if you guys ever want to watch Quinn, streams at the same time as me, I'm pretty sure. So Quinn's the shit. But more reacts, let's go. You want more? Okay.